What is going on guys welcome back to another video of Android application development in Android Studio. In this video we are going to learn how we can integrate banner ads as well as full screen ads in our application. So if you want to monetize your application, if you want to earn money from the application, you have to integrate ads in the application. By integrating the ads you will start earning from the application. So there are different ad service provider like Google also provides, Facebook also provides and other companies are also there. In this video we are going to learn how we can integrate Google AdMob, the ad service provided by Google which is very easy to integrate in the existing application as well as new application. So let's get started with new Android Studio project. Click on new project, click on empty views activity and click on next. Give the application name test add mob application. Select language as Kotlin. A minimum SDK you can select anyone. Let's select Oreo. Build configuration language let it be recommended one. Click on finish. So our project is ready. First thing what we will do we will just run the application. Let's run it. So this is our application. It is a simple hello world application. So you can integrate banner ad and full screen ads in your existing application also or you can create new application and start integrating. Now let's start integrating. Let's go to Google first. Search for Google AdMob Android and go to this website which is Google for developers get started Android. Click on it. And here you can see the full documentation. So let's get started. What we will do before we begin we have to check the application. So in our application it should be minimum SDK version greater than 19 and compile SDK version should be 33 or higher. So let's check in our project. Build at Gradle. Compile SDK version is 34 which is greater than 33 and minimum SDK is 26 which is greater than 19. So this is correct. Now let's go down over here. We have to set up our AdMob account. So for that what you have to do you have to just go to Google. Search for Google AdMob. Click on this and then you will create account using your Google account. That's all. So this step will be done and second step is register your app with AdMob. So whenever you will create the account you have to register your application. You might have number of application each application you have to register and after registering you will get the AdMob app ID. For registration you can go to this link and you can see how to register the application. In this way you will get the app ID that is required before publishing app to our play store. So for testing and debugging you can use sample app ID. So go down over here. We have to configure our application. We have to add the dependencies. So our application will have these repositories. So let's add dependencies directly. Let's copy this dependency. Go to build at Gradle. And in this dependencies let's add that. You should add bracket and double inverted. Click on sync now to download. So if you go to build over here. You can see it is downloaded. Let's close this. Get back to the documentation. Now we'll add the metadata in our manifest. So let's copy this metadata tag. Go to go to project manifest. Inside this application tag you can add the metadata. So here I have pasted metadata. Here you can see Android name and Android value. So name let it be. Value you have to change. So here you have to put your app ID your unique app ID. Where you will get? You will get from AdMob account. Here when you register the application you will get the app ID. So for testing we will use the sample app ID. So here you can see sample app ID. Copy the sample app ID and paste in the value. So this is sample app ID provided by Google for testing and debugging our application. Now we have added the metadata. Next step is to initialize. So let's go to Kotlin over here. In the main activity we have to just initialize it. So how we will initialize? We have mobile ads dot initialize. Let's copy this. Go to main activity and initialize this. Import the mobile ads. So we have initialized the ad. Go back. Now we have to just integrate the ad. So what ad we want? If we want banner ad we can integrate it from here. If we want interstitial ad we can integrate from here. So let's first integrate banner ad. Click on implement banner ads. So here you can read the documentation. First thing we have to do is add the view to our layout. So your app might have different views. Right now if you go to activity main.xml and click on split. Here we have only one view that is text view. But our app might have different view buttons text view and you want to put this banner ad. You can put it anywhere you want. So let's delete this first. Let's make it a relative layout. And let's copy that add view. This add view we will paste it over here. So here you can see it is added in the bottom because we have added align parent bottom true. If you remove this it will go to top. If you want to center it you can just center in parent. So in this way you can put it anywhere you want. So right now I will put it at bottom. You can see over here we have add unit ID. 
So what is this add unit ID? We have application ID in manifest, which is the unique for your application. But this add unit ID will be unique for each banner ad or each full screen ad you want to implement. Here I have added one ad view. If you want to add another ad view over here, let's say add view two and you can center it. So this is another ad. So here what we have to do, we have to give the different ad unit ID. So each ad should have different ad unit ID. So from where you will get, you will get it from ad mob. Here when you register the application, you can get the ad unit ID. So if you click over here, you can see how we will get the ad unit ID. So go back. So I'll remove this. And this is the sample ad unit ID provided by Google. So we'll use that for now. But before publishing to the Play Store, you have to give your own ad unit ID. Now get back to the documentation. We have initialized, we have added the view. Now we have to load and show the ad. So go bottom over here. Here you can see after the initialization, we will get the reference of the ad view, whatever we have added in the layout. And then we will get the ad request object from ad request. And then we will load this ad view with this ad request. That's it. So let's initialize this variable. Go to main activity. You can use binding as well directly, but here we will use find view ID. Here, add view equals to find view ID r dot id dot add view. In this way, we'll get the reference of this add view. Now, once we get the reference, we have to get the object of add request. Let's do that. We can import this. And then we have to just load m add view dot load add. We have to pass the add request. So this ad will be provided by Google itself. We don't have to worry about it. We have to just load that ad in our layout file. In this way, it will load the ad in our this banner ad. Now let's run the application. If it is working, it will show the test ad. Let's run it. It is launched. Now you can see over here, we have the test ad. Here it is written nice job. This is test ad. This is given by Google. Because we have provided sample app ID, this is the test ad given by Google. If you click over here, you will go to the Google AdMob website. So this ad is working correctly. So if you add correct app ID and add unit ID, you will get the real ad. But this is the test ad and it is working correctly. We can see the ad, we can click the ad also. In this way, you can show the banner ad anywhere in the application you want. Now we will integrate interstitial ad, which is a full screen ad. So how we will integrate that? Let's go to documentation again, back. You can see over here, we have implement interstitial ad. Let's click on this and you can read the documentation. It is the full screen ad that cover the interface of our application. Here also you need add unit ID, you will get from add mob account, but here we will use the sample app ID. Go down over here, click on Kotlin. So to load the interstitial ad, what you have to do, you have to create the object of the interstitial ad. You have to add request and we will load the ad. First thing is initialize, load the ad, and then we have to show the ad. You can add callbacks also when user clicked on ad or user dismissed the ad for their own purpose. But right now we will not implement callback, just we will show the ad. First thing what we will do, we will copy this object declaration. Here we will write the comment banner ads and paste it over here. Import. So once we import, we have to load the ad. Let's copy this load ad and create a different method. Load ad. So here we'll paste that. You need to import this callback, import this add error. If you want log, you can import this or you can just remove this. Let's remove this log. And we need this add request object. Here you can see you could copy this, paste it over here. So for full screen add also, we need add request. And here you can see add unit ID. This is the sample one. You will get the real one from the add mob account. So we have loaded the ad. So when to show the ad? We cannot show the ad directly when we launch the application that will hamper the user experience. You can still show the ad directly, but we should show ad on some event. So what event? Let's add a button for now. I will add a simple button that will be click me and center in parent will be true. ID I will give click button. So whenever user will click on this button, that means one event has happened, then we'll show the ad. So let's go to main activity let in it where button give the reference of the layout find view id r dot id dot click button now on click of the button we will load the ad and then we will show the ad so here what we will do for full screen ad button dot set on click listener in the on click listener we'll just call load ad first so in this way it will load the ad internally 
it will load the ad from the internet and it will not show to the user unless and until we will show the ad so how we will show the ad from this object interstitial ad dot show and we have to pass the context so let's give null check also in this way it will first load the ad if it is loaded then it will show the ad so once it loads it will show the ad that's it let's run the application and test so you can see banner ad is loaded if you click on click me over here the ad is displayed over here you can see nice job test ad and this is a interstitial test ad by google adam up this means we have successfully integrated the full screen ad also if you again click over here you can see again the ad is loaded here banner ad is loaded here interstitial ad is loaded you can click on this it will lead to the website whatever the ad will be in this way we can test and debug the flow of the application with the sample app id before publishing it to play store you have to make sure that you will put the real app id and real ad unit id so you have to go to google admob sign up for the account once you register you will get the app id as well as ad unit id app id you need to replace in manifest ad unit id you can replace in layout for the banner ad and for full screen ad you can replace over here so don't forget to do that before publishing it to play store so in this way we can integrate banner ad as well as full screen ad in our application so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye